Hey guys, what's up? My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent and today we're taking a look at the new Garmin 645 Music. So you get a pretty non-eventful unboxing experience. Garmin definitely does not do a great job providing you with a good first impression with their unboxing experience. That being said, they make quality devices and this is absolutely no exception. Uh, this kind of is reminiscent of something between a Garmin Phoenix 5 and the new Garmin Vivo Active 3. So Garmin is definitely being consistent with their branding here in terms of the aesthetics and overall look of this device. Now for some odd reason, Garmin has chosen to go with a clamp-on style charger as opposed to the plug-in style charger that they've been using on virtually every other device that they've been releasing. I just don't think it looks great. I think it looks cheap and the design just feels odd or awkward, but it works and you do get about five days worth of battery life from the device. Now in terms of screen brightness and quality, you're getting something that's virtually identical to the Garmin Vivo Active 3 with the exception that this is not a touch screen. So you do get a color screen, but you have to navigate using uh, the buttons on this device. Now that's actually something that I prefer. Garmin does a good job with their button layout and interface and I prefer that over a touch screen because the touch screen, uh, you know, doesn't work great if your hands are sweaty uh, and sometimes it's just you know not the ideal situation for when you're doing activity. Now the screen on this is similar to what you would kind of get from an e-ink display uh, like a Kindle device where it's designed to be visible even in direct sunlight. Uh, so what that means is you do sacrifice some visibility indoors although this does again have a backlight um, but you're not going to get that same crispness and brightness that you would get from one of the newer Fitbit devices. This screen is designed to be used outdoor. This does come with standard watch straps uh, and it does have a quick pin disconnect which allows you to remove the uh, watch straps and then replace them with other watch straps. Say you want a leather band or something that looks a little bit different, you can do that with this watch and I really like that. Another thing that I really like from Garmin is that they continue to provide uh, third-party accessibility to accessories like external heart rate straps, cadence sensors, uh, wire or cameras like the Verb cameras and so much more. So I really, really appreciate that from Garmin. Uh, they really do allow you to interface the device with external accessories in a way that no other brand really has. Now I'm not going to go into all of the smart features that this watch has, but just real quickly, this does have Garmin Pay, which allows you to encrypt credit card information on the device and then pay wirelessly at vendors that accept it. Uh, this also does have incoming call, text, and email notifications, as well as other app alerts. Alerts. This does have a built-in weather app, so you can view the weather as long as the device is connected uh, via Bluetooth to your phone. And then obviously this is the Garmin 645 Music, which means it can store music on the device and then stream it directly to Bluetooth headphones that the device connects to. Uh, and so I'll review that feature specifically here in a moment. Uh, but the overall review is going to be focused on the built-in sensors, the GPS, the accelerometer, the built-in elevate heart rate sensor that's on this, uh, just to let you guys know how accurate this was for various exercises. And uh, I took this jogging, I took this cycling, I took this swimming. Uh, we did high intensity interval training and strength training and put this through a wide variety of exercises over the last two to three weeks. And so we wanna share those results with you. So the ability to stream music directly from the device to Bluetooth headphones is something that I really enjoyed using, not having to bring my phone along with me. However, in order to do that, you have to connect the device through the included charging cable to your computer in order to upload music to the device. You can't do it through the built-in app on your phone. That's kind of a big bummer to me. Additionally, like many other users are reporting, I did experience some cutting out of the music on certain Bluetooth headphones. Now, on about half of them, I didn't experience this problem, but on the other half, I did experience some connectivity issues, especially while I was jogging. Uh, there would be some times where the music would cut out because the Bluetooth signal wasn't apparently strong enough. Now this could certainly be fixed with a firmware update at some point in the future, but I find it just a little bit ironic that the one feature that they weren't supposed to mess up on this 
doesn't exactly work as advertised. So while we're talking about disappointing performance, let's talk about how this performed with strength training and gym-based exercise like high-intensity interval training, CrossFit-style exercises. This does have a rep counter built in, similar to the Vivo Active 3 for uh, strength training. However, I found it frustrating to use with the button layout as opposed to a touch screen like the Vivo Active 3. Uh, and additionally, the heart rate sensor, the Elevate Optical heart rate sensor for strength training exercises just doesn't work well and that's why you'll see me pairing this with my Skosh Rhythm Plus armband because the optical heart rate sensor that Garmin is putting on their devices just doesn't perform like I would want it to in a gym. Now once this is paired with my Skosh Rhythm Plus armband or a Bluetooth chest strap like the Polar H7 or H10 then I had great results and would highly recommend this for gym use as long as you're willing to pair this with an external heart rate sensor. Now it's worth mentioning that Garmin does have built-in sports profiles for a wide variety of different exercises. And these are not just generic sports profiles, they will actually track metrics specific to those exercises and those sports, as I'll show you here in a moment when it comes to things like swimming and jogging and cycling. So if you're looking for something that can really track just about everything, this is definitely it. The one activity that this is missing that I was disappointed to not see on this is the golf app, which is on the Phoenix devices, which is on other Forerunner devices, and even on the Vivo Active 3, it does not appear on this device, and I was disappointed to see it missing. Now where this watch is designed to really shine is going to be for things like jogging, cycling, swimming, even hiking, uh, and other sorts of aerobic exercise. This did a fantastic job tracking my swimming. Uh, I'm not a swimmer, but I went into the pool and just did a couple of laps, and this was able to track the distance, it was able to track uh, how many strokes I did, how many strokes per minute, how many strokes per lap. It was also uh, able to give me a Swolf score, so for those of you who are dedicated swimmers and pay attention to all of those kinds of metrics, this watch definitely provides that feature, that swim tracking feature for you in detail. The watch worked fantastically well for cycling. I was able to get very accurate GPS information. And the cool thing is you can go and you can review uh, your, your route after the fact uh, on the app, which is a great feature. And you'll also be able to see dedicated metrics that apply specifically to cycling. And that was really uh, helpful to see. Additionally, because this does support uh, external accessories like cadence sensors, Sensors. You can take a foot pod or uh, some sort of cadence sensor and attach that to your foot or attach it to your bike and get cadence information if that's something you want to do. So this is definitely a fantastic option for those of you who do a lot of cycling. Now for running, the experience was similar to cycling. It was a fantastic experience. The GPS and heart rate sensor worked flawlessly. I was able to get back the metrics that were important to me, and I could review those in the app later on. And so if you're someone who's doing uh, aerobic exercises like cycling, like jogging, like swimming, then I highly recommend this. The heart rate data was able to be very, very accurate for those kinds of exercises. And then you do get specific metrics to those specific kinds of exercises exercises, which is really, really helpful. So real quick before you go, let me give you a couple of other details about the watch that might be important. This does have Strava app or Strava connectivity. So if you want to pair this with the Strava application, this does cross integrate uh, with that application, which is super helpful. This does not have a triathlon mode, meaning that if you want to track swimming, cycling, and jogging, you'll have to independently start and stop those exercises as opposed to the watch having a special sports profile that can track all of those three exercises automatically. So that was kind of disappointing to see. Now this does have built-in sleep tracking. It does a decent job. Garmin doesn't have the best sleep tracking, but it works. This does include heart rate variability readings and it, it gives that information to you through what they call a stress score. So the higher your variability, the lower your stress, the less variability, the more you're stressed. So overall, I think that this is a fantastic option for those of you who want a very capable Garmin device to track your various exercises and have the ability to store music natively on the device and then play it back through Bluetooth headphones. Garmin has accomplished that. They've done it fairly well. And you know, there's a few caveats on this device, but I think they've accomplished their goal. So I'm going to put some purchase links in the description below where you can pick this up from either amazon.com or Clever Training for the best price possible. So check those links in the description. Hey guys, thanks for watching. My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent. We'll catch you next time.